jam from us must suffer come out for our country come out my fellow cameroonians here we are at the threshold of another year this time last year we were sad yes but buoyant with hope founded simply on the love of our country and the love of one another today elections have come and gone and we now know that cameroon will not be the center of africa's football in 2019 before all else on my part i must thank all of you in your numbers who showed me love and amazing support my commitment to those of you to whom i promised support remains unshaken to the now movement i cannot thank you enough for your support i am proud of what we able to build in just one year and i look forward to what we will accomplish in 2019 i also maintain my engagement to continue actively to ensure that we have a country that is strengthened by its diversity and not weakened or even destroyed by it as we begin another year we continue to face huge challenges all patriotic cameroonians should be worried about the crisis in the aquifone regions of cameroon the cultures the traditions and the lives in these regions have been totally subverted many families have had to bury their loved ones far away from the lands where they would have wished to be buried i for one am marked by the fact that in the first time in decades i have not been able to go home and pay my respects to the relatives of mine who went before me further the moral authority of our religious leaders which many times constituted the recourse of many citizens has been openly challenged to the point where some clergymen have lost their lives sadly enough some of them were foreigners living in cameroon having come here driven by the passion to help and to serve what is most preoccupying is the level of misery that has befallen our regions the viruses of tribalism division and discrimination continue to dig deep into the fabric of these regions conservative estimates of death plays the toll over 1000 people displaced persons are ever increasing refugees continue to flee to other countries further we are still dealing with the scourge of boko haram in the far north region and we are also dealing with the continuing insecurity in the east region and the adamawa region resulting from the unsolved conflicts in the sub region you know as chairperson of the panel of the african peer review mechanism i led the country review of sierra leone today every day that passes haunts my nights as i see the same things that shocked me in the evolution of sierra leone slowly happening in my own country vengeance repression oppression victimization collective punishment extrajudicial killings the first victims sadly 
are always the poorest and the weakest. Numerous among whom are women and children. Girls who are excited about a bright future suddenly find themselves living in forests and becoming mothers at a very early age. Going to school is now an obstacle course and the education of the children is gravely threatened. Every year, the renowned journal Foreign Affairs lists conflict zones that must be watched. Cameroon, sadly enough, is in the top 10 for 2019. Among Afghanistan, Yemen, Libya, Iran, and many other countries. A report presented to the Security Council clearly states that the crisis in Cameroon is one of the fastest growing in terms of the victims it is producing. Inclusive dialogue must happen as a matter of urgency. And it is, in my humble opinion, very important that the Anglophones talk to each other first. That is why I have always endorsed fully, without any reserve, the initiative of Cardinal Tumi and his colleagues. It is important for every healing initiative to be wholesome. It is most unrealistic to imagine the possibility of addressing only part of the issue. There must be a plan for the return of our citizens to a sense of normalcy and to their homes. This means, among other things, returning people to their villages and assisting them in the reconstruction of their homes. Clearing the fate of all the prisoners apprehended as a result of the current crisis and setting the parameters for an inclusive dialogue are essential in this process. Further, we all know that the system of governance in our country has shown its limits at the expense of the citizen. I commit myself to continue to work at being part of the solution to heal our land in the coming year. A lot is being done, but know that sometimes discretion and silence are golden for us to accomplish these ideals. Added to that, is humility and trust. All these are absolutely essential. As someone said, in spite of our differences, treating others with dignity and humanity is the first step towards mutual understanding. So as we cross into 2019, let us reflect on what Nelson Mandela said as he stepped out of jail. As I stand before the door of my freedom, I realize that if I do not leave my pain, anger, and bitterness behind me, I will still be in prison. If we will solve this crisis, we must also look beyond our pain and our bitterness and have an honest conversation about how we begin the healing process in Cameroon so we can make diversity our strength. God bless Cameroon. Is the key to development. Is the key to development.